Well, most dot-com companies try to avoid hackers, but hackers can be helpful. So today, one Bay Area web giant invited people to hack away. Taking the byte stream, transcoding it into a whole bunch of numbers and sending it out as individual SMS messages. You may not know what he's talking about, but the people in this room think it's brilliant. And that is Yahoo rank and file. Welcome to Yahoo Hack Day, where the world's most visited website admits it can do better. So it puts on a sort of American Idol type competition for computer hackers. Some serious, some funny, each with 90 seconds and one shot. Come up with an idea that maybe you don't have a chance to necessarily do in your everyday job and a little bit of chance to innovate and you know, oh, I have this great idea, I'll just implement it really quick now. Hack Day comes complete with judges, from casual to dressy to the guy who started the company. I think it's great. Great chance for employees just to try something new, be innovative, be creative. That's Yahoo co-founder David Philo, who says these ideas are part of the website's future. It takes stuff that's already built within Yahoo and just kind of bring it together in a new way. Um, take something from over here, something from over there, and kind of mash it up in a way that uh, hasn't been done before. Show us what you got, show us how fast you can do it, and show us how fast you can impress upon the rest of the company that it's important. Think of it as the Oscars for computer hackers, but it's more than just a trophy. They actually get to reshape the web. Hack Day is not just limited to the Silicon Valley. Diane and Allen, Yahoo also had a hack day in Bangalore, India.